I hate paperwork. How about you? I ask that because that is where my mind goes when I think of developing strategies for differentiation for ADHD students. Hi there teachers, Marian Busfield here from Engaging Curiosity to empower you to take charge in the classroom by supporting you with evidence-based classroom management strategies and resources. Classroom management is often overwhelming at the beginning, but with the right strategies and resources, you will master the classroom behavior and pave the way for dynamic instruction. I am a faith-led, married, mother of two, grandmother to one, outdoor enthusiast, and retired teacher. My passion is to share what I know about teaching to support this wonderful new generation of teachers. Videos will include topics on my five pillars of classroom management, which are building classroom community, classroom expectations, differentiation and in instruction, social emotional learning, and classroom organization. Look down below and find the link to download my free classroom management checklist. Inside the checklist, you will find my five pillars of classroom management broken down into steps you can take one at a time. A goal setting page is included to help you get organized and prioritized with the needs for your unique classroom. Download the checklist now and set your goals today. I appreciate you sharing your time with me today. Let's dig in. Today I am sharing about how to plan more strategies for differentiation for ADHD students. In an earlier blog post, How to Add Inclusive Strategies for ADHD in the Classroom, I shared multiple differentiation strategies that can be applied for the, applied for the whole class or for supporting pupils with ADHD in the classroom. Implementing these strategies for the whole class aligns with Universal Design for Learning, otherwise known as UDL. UDL. UDL and differentiation share a lot in common. My point is that much of what we can do to implement strategies for differentiation for ADHD students will benefit multiple students in the classroom. But even with all of these positive changes, for some students, we may still need to implement differentiation for ADHD students specifically. So what are inclusive strategies for differentiation for ADHD students? As I mentioned, within an inclusive classroom, the teacher will have differentiated the classroom and designed the environment, instruction, and assessments to support the learning needs and styles of all students. Hopefully the teacher will have designed the strategies for differentiation for ADHD students with Universal Design for Learning or UDL in mind. In this case, even those students that we don't know need visual supports, they still have them. If another student needs to stand out while working, then that is an option for all students. This type of differentiation for ADHD D students promotes inclusiveness and recognizes and honors all the students. In this way, any stigma or shame associated with any one type of learning style is removed. For many students with ADHD strategies for differentiation for ADHD students and the support that is available to the whole class will be enough. However, as with most things, ADHD is unique to the individual person who has it. For some students, a little more may be required. That is where the paperwork comes in. Individual education plans or IEPs, uh, where I work, as strategies for differentiation for ADHD students is a topic. My understanding is that in many states, these are referred to as individualized learning plans, ILPs, but the concept, concept is the same or similar. Let me first say that I'm not a huge fan of IEPs, but my reasons might surprise you. I have found that IEPs can be like assessments that lead to a diagnosis. We can sometimes feel that the assessment prior to the IEP is doing the work to support the student and that with those two things in place, no more is required. I am not pointing fingers here. For the last 150 to 200 years, the educational system was run on a factory model and students who did not fit within the mold were the problems. Every round peg was forced to fit somehow into the square hole or get tossed out. Current trends in education, especially in Western cultures, are now focusing on meeting the individual needs of each child. The square holes are all gone and the work of the teacher is to shape the learning to the unique needs or shape of the student. However, an assessment and a diagnosis may just be starting points for what we need to do for a student with ADHD in the classroom. Now it is time to personalize learning more specifically for the student. Before I continue, a reminder to use the link down below to download the free classroom management checklist. Once you have shared your email address, you will receive links 
to my weekly email with classroom tips and links to my blog and videos. The checklist and included goal sheets will support you in creating your goal setting to-do list and the newsletter will help you in, by informing your choices. What is the purpose of an IEP as strategy, as a strategy for differentiation for ADHD students? If you are already differentiating, differentiating and implementing UDL, many of the strategies for differentiation for students, for ADHD students on the IEP will be met. Your job then is tracking your students' progress and hopefully providing awareness of a student's growth in order to track a different area of progress. One little note on this, when you are tracking a student's progress, consider a portfolio of photos and work. As a student grows, positive reinforcement is at its finest when we can say, wow, you have really grown in this area. Let's take a picture for your parents to see in your report card. And they will see the growth that has occurred from the differentiation for ADHD and UDL and believe it for themselves. And yet, Sometimes the student does need goals that are tailored specifically to their needs that would be ridiculous and burdensome to implement for the whole class. An example of this may be a note home each night that shares two to three points for the day. Although many parents would love this personalized communication, very few students require it. And thank heavens for that. So crafting strategies for differentiation for ADHD students involves establishing personalized goals for differentiation for ADHD, which just means looking at a student's strengths and challenges and creating targets for them. These targets could be for one or more or multiple areas. They could be for academic achievements, organizational skills, self-regulation. So what is an IEP with strategies for differentiation for ADHD students? The IEP is simply a roadmap of strategies for differentiation that are specific to that individual student and which lead to success for this student. It whittles down to the essentials, the focus for the student. An example may be a little three stars and a wish journal that the student is given quiet time to write in. This journal is the student's accounting of what they did. Well, sorry, what they did well, that gets three stars and a goal for the next day. That's the wish. This journal would be taken home and signed by the parents and hopefully a discussion between the student and parents occurs as well, a positive discussion. This simple strategy is not meant to be harsh or punitive. It is merely teaching the student to reflect positively on their successes and to realize that tomorrow is a new day. It also tells the parents a lot about their child's day at school. What are not strategies for differentiation for ADHD students? Okay, well, an IEP is not all the changes the teacher wants to see in a student to make them more like their peers. An IEP is a blueprint and tracker for the student's most important next steps in growth and learning. Although the IEP can and maybe should contain multiple SMART goals, students should be actively working on only three at a time or if the goals are complex, three objectives or parts of a goal. More than that is overwhelming for the student and for the staff member tracking the student's work. The focus of the successful IEP will be on designing objectives tailored to the student's strengths, challenges and learning styles of each student with ADHD. Aligning these tailored objectives with specific approaches that will help the student to overcome challenges associated with ADHD. Adapting assignments is one of the strategies for differentiation for ADHD students. To adapt assignments to varying abilities is to tailor tasks to match individual strengths, learning preferences, and skill levels. Each student can then engage with the material in a way that really suits their unique abilities and challenges. This may mean providing alternative formats like a video, book with tape, hands-on activities, or activities like a choice board, additional support, or even flexible timelines. If that all sounds overwhelming, consider that much of that has already been implemented by you through differentiation for ADHD. Now you are just tracking the eff efficacy of these strategies on the IP. How did they work? In other words, if you see that one of the structures or scaffolds that you have already put in place, for example, routines or binders to support organization, movement breaks to extend focus, etc., is working, then you take a picture to show a student's progress with the support of that scaffold. 
This picture becomes a part of the IFP portfolio and indicates what strategies do and do not work for the students. Sometimes there is no picture taking to be done. In other words, if the scaffold did not support student growth, then pictures can also show the lack of growth and suggest that it is time to try out a scaffold, a different scaffold or approach. Making strategies for differentiation for ADHD students manageable uh, is another topic. I've written blogs on differentiation in writing, math, and science. Consider checking these out for ideas on how to make that work in your classroom. Strategies for differentiation for ADHD students are typically a benefit to all students. Tracking the effectiveness of these strategies you have implemented through the NIP can provide insight into the best way to help a student with IEP progress. When the whole class strategies, then sometimes there will be individual strategies for differentiation for ADHD students that we need to implement and monitor. The paperwork accompanying one or two SMART goals that are specific to a student that you need to track is much more manageable than piles of different goals and strategies for different students. Keep your IEP simple, make the goals SMART goals, and work on no more than three goals at a time. Rely on the implementation of the UDL strategies of your strategies for differentiation for ADHD students to achieve whatever work is possible for that student at this time. Rome was not built in a day. Step by step, just do your best. Thanks for joining me today. See you soon. Bye now. I appreciate you sharing your time with me today and I hope you join me again soon. Take steps to calm the classroom chaos one step at a time. Please remember to use the link down below to uh, my free classroom management checklist. See you soon.